Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through what is Swagger, why you should know about it, especially if you are a front-end developer who will be integrating the back-end REST endpoints. This episode will also help the back-end developers to understand why it's important to use Swagger in your applications to document all your REST endpoints. Let's get started. So what is Swagger? Swagger is an open source API documentation framework. That's the basic definition of it. But I will help you understand a little bit more detail in terms of real time use cases. So Swagger is used for documenting the REST APIs or endpoints. It provides an HTML view of the API documentation with JSON support and detailed information on the HTTP methods. Whenever we work on real-time complex enterprise application, chances are that you would have a lot of REST endpoints. Over a period of time, a lot of developers will develop the endpoints and it becomes easy to, if you expose them for integration, you might want to have good documentation. So that it becomes easy for anybody who is trying to integrate those endpoints into the application. But why do we need API documentation? REST APIs or endpoints are basically designed to be used in some kind of an app. It can be a mobile application, it can be a web application. In most likely, the, te the teams will have either backend API developers or full stack developer APIs who own those APIs. The front end team will integrate the APIs into the application. Hence, it's important that these APIs, they form the data contracts between the two teams, one developing and the one integrating. How would the team know what methods to call? What are the endpoints to call? What are the required data to pass? These are some of the questions that would come up if you do not have the proper documentation in place. Some of the key information that Swagger documentation helps is in answering these questions like what are the endpoint URLs? What are the methods to be used when passing or calling those endpoints? What data needs to be passed to these endpoints? What are the mandatory and optional params to the endpoint? Is authentication required for these endpoints? All of these answers are captured as part of your Swagger documentation. Using Swagger, we can create documentation for our APIs. We use Swagger UI to create a set of rules or specification for a format describing the REST APIs. Again, these rules can change from enterprise or company to company, but most likely they'll have standard format like exposing the endpoint, the method, the params that it takes, which are mandatory, which are optional. So, it provides an easy way to share the API documentation among developers and product managers and QA teams. Without this documentation, it will become a really Herculean task to understand what the endpoints are and what they do. That's what I'm bringing you today. If you have any questions about Swagger, please do let me know in the comment section. I will try and help you. These are just introductory training tutorial just to introduce you to the concept of Swagger. Thank you so much for joining. I hope it helps you. Do let me know if you want me to cover more such videos. Thank you so much.